What is up guys, Woody LS3 coming at you with another vlog. Today we're gonna be working on my extended cab. It's been down for a while now. So we're gonna actually gonna be pulling this out and then we're gonna bring my truck in here. Thank you everybody for the awesome feedback that I got on my car. I'm very happy with it, with the wheel setup that I picked and uh, definitely I can't wait to put this car on a shirt. I do have a design already. I'm actually working on a shirt as we speak. Hopefully that shirt will be available pretty soon. I'm also working on hoodies. Also, I got some decals of my car made. Y'all can definitely pick one up at whogapdu.com. I have all kinds of stickers on there also. Hats, shirts, pick you something up. Thank you for the love and support. Like I said, today we're gonna be working on my truck. So let's go ahead and get my truck in here. Alright guys, we got my car outside. Let's go ahead and see if my truck turns on. I haven't turned it on in a long time. I miss this truck a lot guys. This is my truck that I started building. The reason why I fixed this truck up like this, I seen a picture of a truck like exactly like mine with these same wheels. It wasn't color matched when I, I went ahead and color matched it. And uh, I knew that I wanted to have my truck like that. Um, so this is the look that I have. I achieved that look for my truck. It does have a 6.0, headers, intake, posi, and the cow tracks with the 4.6 drop. This is my first truck um, ever. The single cab is my second truck. So I, I've only had two trucks in my life. I have, I've had a ton of cars. I'm still gonna keep working on these guys. Don't think that I've given up on this truck and I'm just gonna concentrate on my car and, and my single cab. No, I'm still gonna cam this truck because I do wanna eventually just daily this when I do turbo my single cab. I'm still gonna be able to drive it. I just, I'm not gonna daily it. It's gonna be a street race truck. This is gonna be my daily. This is what I'm gonna be driving. Uh, I wanna have a good setup, good cam. And uh, I just don't wanna rush things. Um, so, like I said, I plan to keep this truck my entire lifetime, obviously, if I can. Uh, I do plan to do a full system on here. My boy Vargas at Project Torque, he's gonna install it for me. But, like I said, it's just gonna be my little project. Um, I definitely wanna keep daily in this one and uh, keep moving forward with this one, definitely. So, let's go ahead and get it in the garage, see if we can get it fixed today, and I can start driving this one again. <laughs> Right, guys we got my truck in here we're gonna go ahead and lift it up get on some jack stands go ahead and remove the pan for the transmission and replace those solenoids the reason I'm replacing those solenoids because I got a check engine light and it said that those cylinders needed to be replaced so we're gonna go ahead and fix that and then hopefully my truck works I can start using it put on some vlogs for you guys <music> Alright guys, as you can see, I got the truck lifted up, I got it set on some jacks, and then these are the parts we're going to be replaced. It's pretty much two solenoids for the transmission, that's what lets it go in gear. Pretty much, I have no overdrive, that's what's happening. It'll be redlining when overdrive is supposed to come on. Uh, my check engine light came on, I put the scanner on it, it said it was a solenoid, so I'm going to go ahead and replace those solenoids. Hopefully that's the issue. Uh, because I do want to drive this truck again, but right now let's go ahead and take the pan off the bottom of the transmission so we can replace those solenoids. Alright guys, we're pretty much under my truck. This is the transmission right here. This is the pan I have to remove. So I gotta pretty much take all these bolts off around the pan to get to where I need to replace those solenoids. So let's go ahead and remove all these bolts. So I can get this off. Alright guys, this is my transmission without the pin. 
And you see those two yellow clips right there? That's what's holding the solenoids. So I have to unclip those clips, remove the solenoids, replace them with the new ones, and then put my pan back on, top it off with some oil, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and remove those clips. All right guys, this is the old solenoid right here. And there's two of them, this is just one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna replace both of them. And then this is the AC Delco one. We're gonna go ahead and install this one and uh, we put some transmission fluid, turn it back on and uh, get it going. All right guys, I pretty much got the pan underneath, pretty much ready to go, I got it all bolted down. Right now we're gonna go run to the auto parts store and go pick up some transmission fluid so we can go ahead and fill up the transmission back up and then we'll go ahead and turn it on. Hopefully it works, but like I said, right now let's go ahead and go to the auto parts store and pick up the fluid. Oh my God. All right guys, we're at AutoZone. We're gonna go ahead and get our fluid to our, for our transmission. So let's go ahead and go. All right guys, we got our oil. Now we're gonna go ahead back. All right guys, I got the oil. So let's go ahead and put it in the truck. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the truck and then uh, check the oil. Alright guys, we got the truck back on. We're gonna go ahead and just shift the gears. This seems to be working good. We're going to go ahead and check the fluid now. Alright guys, seems to be doing good. Oil's good. Let's take it on a little test drive. it shifted the truck is shifting so it looks like it's working uh, what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and keep running it for a little bit and uh, hopefully it, it's all fixed but uh, for right now it's working all right guys we just got back with the truck it's working really really good it went into overdrive so it, it seems to be working but only time will tell. Like I said, I'm gonna drive it. But honestly, I can't believe how much I miss driving this truck. We're gonna go ahead, keep using it. Hopefully the issue was solved and that was the problem all along. But man, I, I'm happy that it's working. Like I said, there's more upgrades for this truck coming. Just keep it as a nice daily. Like I said, I got my single cab now. That one is gonna be my, my race street truck. And then this one's gonna be my daily. Still gonna fix this thing up. There's still a little cosmetic issues that I wanna fix. Definitely put some wheels on it. So hopefully, hopefully. We get this thing going, but I'm excited that we got this thing running. Like I said, hopefully that was the issue, but thank y'all for watching. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Oh!